Daniel Cormier versus George St. Pierre. Daniel Cormier right now is the UFC heavyweight and light heavyweight champion of the world. George St. Pierre retired as the UFC welterweight champion. He was a two-time welterweight champion. He was also the interim champion. He held the interim title for a long time. George St. Pierre had an incredible interim reign. Who left a bigger legacy? Who is the greatest? Recently, Daniel Cormier was asked the question, sitting there on UFC Tonight with his two belts, he was asked, out of the GOATs right now, the three GOATs, DJ Demetrius Johnson, GSB George St. Pierre, and DC double champ Daniel Cormier. Out of those three men, which one did he feel left the bigger legacy? Which ones are the true GOATs? And he felt like DJ lost at 135 pounds. Daniel Cormier is undefeated at heavyweight. He has 14 incredible wins at heavyweight. He has incredible wins at light heavyweight, and there was only one man who ever defeated him at light heavyweight. George St. Pierre defeated Matt Serra. The one man to knock him out, he went out there and dominated Matt Serra. He took back his title, and George St. Pierre left an incredible reign as well. He won all his fights, and he left the Ultimate Fighting Championship after beating Johnny Hendricks. And that was the first time we saw George St. Pierre win a split decision. It was the closest fight we'd ever seen. George St. Pierre had won five six unanimous decisions in a row before that and before that he was winning all his fights he had four wins in a row before that so George St. Pierre was just so dominant in his reign it was spectacular what George St. Pierre did he recently he came back at UFC 217 one of the biggest selling UFC's of 2017 and he defeated Michael Bisping choked him out in the third round and then he left us again and we don't know what George St. Pierre wants to do next. George St. Pierre is a quiet man, and his vision of his future is all up to him. George St. Pierre knows what he wants to do, and if he wants to do nothing, he can do that. And at 37 years old, George St. Pierre still has a lot of time left, and we got to see him once. We got to see the spectacular GSP come back, and, and he looked magnificent, and it's no telling what else GSP can do. Now, these are considered two of the greatest GOATs in UFC history, both of them held two titles in two different weight classes, and they were both dominant champions in their main weight class. Now, George St. Pierre is five foot ten, and DC is listed at five foot eleven. DC has a 72 and a half inch reach. Rush St. Pierre has a 76 inch reach. You wouldn't think so, but he has a longer reach. DC has really short arms, and DC is an incredible Olympic wrestler. And he still has that caliber of wrestling. DC is still an incredible wrestler today. George St. Pierre was able to beat Olympic caliber wrestlers. He was able to out-wrestle the greatest wrestlers of his time. Would George St. Pierre be able to go up in weight and surprise us yet again and, and beat somebody that we never thought he could beat? A lot of people were doubting GSP versus Bisping, but there were still a lot of people that thought GSP was going to win that fight. This would be incredible. This would probably be the greatest fight of all time. George St. Pierre versus DC are two men who left incredible legacies. And George St. Pierre left a legacy early on, continued it, left the sport, came back. While DC started late in life and left a tremendous legacy later on. And it all culminated with his win over Stipe Miocic. Who wins this fight, guys? Could George St. Pierre do the unthinkable?